In this video there are four tasks. The first task is to create a rib underneath the scooter, which you can see here. We will then pattern the rib along the length of the scooter. The third task is to add a graphic to the surface of the deck. And the last task is to actually add text to the side of the scooter deck. To begin with, go to the application button and choose to open the deck practice part. With this part open, what we're going to do is just rotate the part upside down and we're going to create a rib underneath. To do this, you need to locate a suitable work plane. On the left hand side, under origin, choose this time the YZ plane. This is a plane that allows us to sketch onto its surface. Select the plane and choose to create a 2D sketch. With the sketch in position, what we now need to do is actually remove some of the features that we see here so that we can see the plane we're drawing onto. To do this, press F7. And what you can see we've done now is we've now sliced the model at the point where we're drawing the sketch. What we're going to do now is we're going to use project geometry and we're going to select this edge here and this edge here and as you can see they're now highlighted in yellow. This allows us now to choose the arc tool from the ribbon and from its midpoint which will roughly snap there we can click, drag to the other side again to the midpoint denoted by the green dot and we can drag down to this position here. For the rib feature this is all the line work that is needed. So what we can do now is finish the 2D sketch and we can see our line work there on the work plane and then from the ribbon under create we choose rib. With the pop-up box available the first thing we do is select the profile which in this instance is our sketch. This will create uh, a long rib along the length of the front of the scooter deck. What we actually want to do is choose a parallel to sketch plane. When we select this, this creates the rib feature. We're going to make it slightly thicker by entering in a measurement of 5 millimeters, And we've now created a first rib. Click OK and scroll out. This is the first rib of the deck which is now reinforcing the underneath of that surface. The second step was to create a pattern of that rib. To do this, go to the ribbon and underneath pattern we're going to choose a rectangular pattern. Firstly, select the feature. Once we've selected a feature which is now highlighted in blue, we're going to select the direction and in this instance we can select any edge that is running along the length of the deck. So we can select this edge here, this edge here, this edge here, this edge here. Initially I'm going to select this edge. What we can do now is we can now project our second rib here which we can see highlighted to the left. What we're going to do in this instance is actually choose a mid-plane position which means that we can now mirror left and right and we're going to increase the number of instances from 2 to 7 ribs. And as you can see these are now previewed for us. By increasing the spacing to 35 millimeters, we can now create the pattern of ribs underneath the deck and select OK. Here we have now patterned a series of ribs and on the left hand side if you expand the pattern we can take each of these and if we want to remove some of them we can right click and choose to suppress each of these which will make it disappear. Right click and unsuppress to make it reappear but we can change and modify the pattern as we choose. Our third task was to create a graphic onto the top surface of the deck. To do this first of all we need to choose to create a sketch. In this instance select the top surface of the deck and choose 2D sketch from the ribbon. Rotated into this position we now need to select from the ribbon under insert and image. In the pop-up box select an appropriate graphic here we have one prepared. Select to open it and place one by left clicking into the drawing. Press escape 
so that we don't create more than one instance. In each of these corners of the image we can do something different. So if we grab onto the corner here we can move the image around. If we grab this corner here we can rotate it and position it and scale it. What we're going to do in this instance is attempt to make the image drag and cover the entire deck. As you can see here, I'm just going to drag a little bit bigger. And this will now cover the entire deck. To finish the sketch, right click and choose to finish 2D sketch. Currently the image is not mapped onto the surface. At the moment it sits above the deck and we can see an overhang here and here. To finish the sketch and map it onto the surface, along the ribbon, under create, select decal. In the pop-up box, select the image with one left click, and when we select the face, select the face of the deck of the scooter. If we select chain faces, this will map the image to any flat surface that is touching this deck. In this instance, this would force the image up the length of the scooter. So we're going to uncheck this point and select OK. And what we can see now is that the image has trimmed to the, the deck. The last task is to create some text along the neck of the scooter deck. First of all, select the surface and select Create 2D Sketch. We're now going to go to the ribbon and select the text option. Click and drag and then release. This creates a pop-up box. Create some text and you can highlight and change the font or if you want to you can change the measurement of the text. In this case we can modify it to be any size. I'll change it to 25 millimeters. And the text has now been created. What we need to do is actually make this text position itself along the neck of the scooter. So currently we need to rotate it. From the ribbon, select the option Rotate underneath Modify. To do a rotation, first of all select the object, which is the text. And when we select a center point, select the far left corner, and this will allow us to rotate the text. Select Done when we're finished. We can now move the text into position. If we double click on the text, we can update the size and having created the text, we now finish the sketch. The last task is to simply emboss this onto the surface. To do this, select emboss from the ribbon, select profile, and for the profile we're going to select the text, we're going to embossed to a measurement of 3 millimeters, which we've entered in here and if we click on the top face appearance from the drop down we can actually select a different uh, visual appearance so we might choose uh, polished aluminium and if we select OK we can now see that the text has been embossed onto the surface and that the top layer has the material finish of polished aluminium.